are ready to launch at the lake. We call these walleye and hybrid crappie. I'm going to turn it. Okay. Alright. It's scooting three inches at a time. It's going. There we go. That feels really good again and the wind stopped. See, it just goes in spurts. Alright guys, got him on the all white Bobby Garland. Never tried it, just plain pearl. About a half pound. And you can't let... Eh, I don't even know what you're doing. Better than what you was doing. Because that wasn't going to last long. Alright. Yes. No, it's another bass. Just a little stupid crappie. Oh boy. Trying your darndest, ain't you? Yeah, you ain't going nowhere. You're little. They're about the same. Looks like the exact same fish. About 11 inch. All right. Hey, it's a fish at least. We didn't strike out. Crappie. There you go. All right, Wilma, the first crappie. They're not all bluegill, are they? <laughs> Made it worth coming now. We're going to get on them. Yeah, that's pretty decent. He's 11. 11 inch black, guys. We got to keep an eye out for them hybrids in here, too, the hybrid crappie. That's a pure black, about 11 inches. Let me, let me reel this in. All right, guys, we're starting to get on them. It's... Three in the afternoon. It took us a while at this lake. Good job, honey. Yeah. Man. That's a nice crop. There's this has lake has an awesome average for crappie, I'm telling you. One of the best I know, except where we was exactly a month ago. Where the private one that's the other one I know that's got the better average. There we go. I finally got one on the jig, guys. I'm more of a jig fisherman. But I'm about to use a minnow so we don't spook him. Oh, he's not bad. He's about nine. Got him on the pearl Bobby Garland once again. First crappie of the day for me. We've each, we've each gotten one now. We're not getting a lot, but they're all quality. Every fish we've caught today, besides two of the little dink bass, have been quality. We're not getting numbers, but boy, are they nice. Oh, man. Never got to hold it. You definitely got something. Or you're hung. It's about a couple more minutes and we'll go down and change my battery again. Put a Bobby Garland on again. Oh, crappie. Man, you lucky dog. You got a nice one that time. Yeah. He's about 12, isn't it? There you go. Making all this noise and still caught it. 
We're basically right on top of that crappie, guys. Turn for us. That's a nice one. Turn your arms more. That's a nice crappie. There you go. Yeah. Decent. Not huge, but definitely doable. A nice one though he ain't bad all right guys new kind oh it's a hybrid bluegill awesome now i will take these honey look it's a hybrid it's a green sunfish mixed with bluegill huh cool catch guys nice i'll take a hybrid bluegill now that helps the day right there. Something different. Don't catch a whole lot of these. Heck yeah. This is a green sunfish bluegill hybrid. Oh, I have to change my battery and then I'll get a minnow from you. I'll tough it out here a couple more minutes because I am. But it's almost four o'clock. go all right first white crappie of the day we're missing the hybrid now all right he's about eight right at eight inches honey oh you're hung again yeah it's a white pure white all right guys hey nice little white crappie Now we're just lacking the hybrid crappie and we're lacking the wall line. We got about everything. Everything that swims in here. Just had another one, just had another one. Got him. It's bigger, I think. Yeah, yes it is. Oh yeah. There we go. That's what we're after, guys. I figured them out. You gotta throw it diagonal from the bank or kind of where out where we're at, about 20 feet away from the bank and you let it fall five to six foot down and you reel it in really slow. But where yours is setting, you'll get one doing that. Just keep doing that, it'll work too. You may wanna set your bobber a little deeper. Just don't go over by the brush. They're out from, they're in deeper water than that. I'd set your bobber another foot deeper and you'll do better. Right, guys, nice black crappie. Now, that's what I'm after, them big ones like this. It's getting there anyway. He's 10. Right at 10 inches. These crappie here, of course, we're from two hours south of here. We're up on vacation. These crappie ain't even dark yet. Not at all. Kind of strange. Me and her was catching them jet black on April the 2nd, where we live. That's, so it's been two and a half weeks ago. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Hey, he's an inch bigger than the last one. And he's yellow. They are kind of changing colors a little but they're not jet black like where we live this is kind of a yellow gold it's a golden black droppy that's a nice one there that's more like it okay i want you to show me on this one can you here honey 
No, don't throw the crank back. I'll tell you what, let me just get my backpack up here. I can do it myself. Just don't move a lot here in a second. Guys, it took me two hours to figure out these crappie. Now I know where they're biting. Now she's got one. Looks like you got a bass though. No, it's a white. Maybe uh, even a hybrid, maybe. He is, it's a white, pure white. Okay, don't move for a second. Hey guys, we got doubles. What happened guys, it was sunny. And as soon as it got cloudy, they started biting way better. He is getting black. They're they're about two weeks late up here. Looks like a white. It's a white, pure, no, let me. Looks like a hybrid. That's a hybrid. It sure is. That's a hybrid crappie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right guys, nice black. Ended up having a good day after all. We caught a lot of variety. The hybrid striper, the nice large mouse, the buffalo, hybrid bluegill. And now we is on some crappies. Some sockele. Alright, wrong kind, but oh well. I'll take you. Yeah. <clears throat> I wouldn't want a very big bass on this pole. When I was a four pound line, I wouldn't stand a chance with it. All right, guys, a little large mouth again. That's my third little one today. Other than that, every fish has been decent. All right. Another hybrid. That's three hybrids, guys. I don't know about that one. No, that's a white. Still decent, though. Unbelievable. You're, you never listen to me in the first place. Your bobber is one foot too shallow and just throw it right in front. Don't cast it. Just pull it out because they're I'm catching everyone right in front of us. Your bobber is a foot too shallow. They're two foot down from what you're... They're f four to five foot down. Yes, and just don't cast it. Just pull out the line you need and lob it like this underhand. Because it ain't working for you. Whatever you're doing ain't working. Oh man. Mm, yes. Yes it is. He might go 13. He's close. Ah. Oh, hybrid too. It's a hybrid. That's what I've been after guys. I got one of them hybrids that's decent sized. Whew. Oh yeah, he's 13. Give me that dino. Okay, in a minute. All right, guys, nice crappie. That's what we came after. Wow. And it's not, it's a pure white, actually. That's a nice crappie, though. It's got just the vertical bars. It ain't got the spots. Nice crappie though. We had a good day, didn't we? Pretty good. They've, they've bitten better since we got in here. They've been picking up since it stayed cloudy. Look at that, honey. Pretty nice. All right, guys, I'm gonna get him back in. I'm shivering.
Is that a fish? You hear that? Big carp or bass or something. There you go. Yeah. Not bad. Not big, but not bad. About eight. Yeah. Skinny though. He's hitting it three times. All right, another black. All right. They're basically right on this line. Watch this. When you get done, watch. Like this. Watch. One, two, three, four. And then the canoe spins and ruins it. Here we go. See, you gotta have it this deep, pretty damn deep, like four feet. My bobber's four feet from my hook. About like yours is, yeah. But we have caught about 20 now, guys. And I already need a new minnow. God, he destroyed the eyes, it's squished it. Ripped its head off pretty much. these I'm barely hooking see like that I think Wilma's on one too I got a little black oh my gosh you just never know do you my guys mine was maybe seven inches and she just whips this freaking 13 inch jumbo out of the water oh man yeah he's decent he might Almost go for it. Now he's 13. He's jet black too. He's he's pretty. Go this way a little bit. There you go. Man, that's a good one. Let me zoom out. Hold on, I'm a little too close. Oh, now it went too far away. Hold on. Man, uh, good job. Yeah, now we had a good day. We're just lacking that walleye still, guys. Man, the jig's the answer, isn't it? If you can keep from getting hung. He's 13. Gosh. They were all kind of small until that one. I mean, smaller. Well, there's a branch right there. I hit a branch. Guys, I hit a branch and I thought, uh oh, I'm going to get hung up. As soon as it bumped off that branch, he grabbed it. That's how close they are holding tight to cover today. <clears throat> Man. Guys, we've just been, we've, we've caught 20 fish just sitting in one spot. Didn't even have to explore the lake much. He's 12, maybe 13. Look at that. Dang close to yours. Careful. See, you get too close to that bank, you're going to get hung. He's a pretty decent one, guys. Don't move. Okay, set still for a second. That's what I came for. A lot of these are still kind of a goldish color, and then some of them got a little bit of gray, hint of gray in their cheeks. Uh, our first two hours over here, most of the crappie were only 8 to 10 inches, and just out of nowhere, we just caught a 
12 and a 13. So He's getting black. He's getting pretty charcoal colored. I think it was the snow is what did it. They faded back and changed their mind and they they'll spawn in about a week or two. Very late this year, guys. One of the latest years I've ever seen them. I mean it'll be May in seven days. Nice one. Man, the orange dream sickle never lets me down, guys. It's actually called dream sickle delight, but I call it orange dream sickle because it's easier. guys dream sickle delight you know what it does it catches crappie everywhere I go clear muddy doesn't matter oh you got a bass probably. No, yeah, bass. I could tell by how far over he was. It's gonna scare everything. Oh my god, I can't believe guys that I just had a crappie break me off. What in the world is really happening here? Oh my god. It's a big one. It ain't as big as the one I broke my line probably, but it's decent. I cannot believe, guys, that I had a crappie break my line. Four pound line. And it didn't even give me a chance. But I'm telling you, 100% it was not a bass or any other kind. I can tell by the way, as soon as I set the hook, it was a crappie. And the way he hit it, I'm just guessing the, the line must have rubbed his bumps the wrong way he's 13 got him on the pearly white again i lowered my jig head down to a 1 16th i very rarely do that only when they're a little finicky decent isn't it <clears throat> nice 13 inch black guys I am shivering. It's that cold out here. Looks like we got doubles. Oh, hers fell off. It was a little seven. That's a female. Pregnant, dude. Or bloat, at least got a big belly on her anyway. Guys, me and Wilma just got doubles. We're fishing an overflow from another pit that comes down a concrete hill. So it's basically a spillway from another pit. It comes into here. I mean, her just got doubles. I got a bass, she got a regular bluegill. So we got a new species of the day. Eating size too, it's a nice bluegill. So we got hybrid bluegill and regular bluegill. Three kinds of crappie, smallmouth buffalo, hybrid striper, channel cat. Quite a variety today, guys, for where we are anyway. We're only missing one fish, and I'm hoping the evening gives me one, and that's a walleye. Yes! You're not getting off. It's a little bass. Oh well, it's a fish. Dang, I thought I had something decent for a minute. 
I'm happy to get something though guys it's beautiful out here now we're on the end of the lake where the wind is blocked by the hill the sun came back out we're at a different overflow that comes in from a nether pit on the other side of this one and it comes in pretty good back here but the problem is it attracts plant growth like crazy hydrilla it's like you can't let your lure fall more than three foot or you're in something oh yeah something real not little it's not a walleye though unfortunately it's a bass oh it's not a bad one though is it not bad at all man Oh, goodness. Oh, he's hooked pretty good, but not real good. It's a two-pounder anyway. All right, guys. Suicide Chad once again. Oh, man. Finally. The spillway paid off. If that's what you want to call it. It's more of an overrun. That's what I'd like to call it. Overrun. Don't move for a minute. He's not bad, about 14. Just took multiple throws, guys. 50 casts to get this one nice fish over here. Man, had a little spurt of bites here, guys. I was wanting to leave. I was about to leave, in fact, because there's a little stick over here. There's a little brush pile over here, and I was going to go try it for crappie and one last hope, but uh, things turned around real fast. All right. Suicide Chad. At least 10 or 11 inches. Or bigger. <clears throat> Slab. I don't know about 13, but he's 12. At least 12. Knew there'd be one on that brush pile. Boy, he's barely hooked to come here. Oh, barely by the skin. Oh no! Oh no! If he, oh, uh. oh god! Oh my god! Dude, okay. Oh, dang, man. Oh, he about got off. I could not get my finger in his mouth. My God, he, I just slid that jig right out, guys. One nice fist to end the day with. Another 12. Yeah, 12 inch crappie guys, nice black. Look, hun, look at him. Pretty nice. Oh yeah. Look, pretty nice. Sunset guy is pretty awesome. Heck yeah.